930 megs of free memory on my Amazon Fire TV. How? Well, allow me to present the all new TDUK Unified Debloat Toolbox. Unified because as you guys know, the ones that have been following me for a while, in the past I did create a Debloat Toolbox for Fire OS 6 devices and a separate one for Fire OS 7. But with the new toolbox, we have a single toolbox which works across all of your Fire OS 6 and 7 devices and allows you to quickly turn off unused or unwanted services running in the background, which in turn frees up more memory. And the more memory that your device has, typically you'll see better performance. So in this video today, let's talk about the new Unified Debloat Toolbox how you can get it across all of your Amazon devices and really just get the maximum performance from all of them. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So let me start my demonstration on the second generation Fire TV Cube, which as you guys know, runs Fire OS 7. And then I'll jump over to my 4K Fire Stick, which runs Fire OS 6. Just to show you that the same toolbox will now run across any of those devices and still allow you to disable all of those unwanted background processes. Now let's open up the toolbox. Here we are. And once again, a massive shout out to my developer, Sween Wolf, who's done all of the hard work creating this toolbox for me. Now, if you don't know what a Debloat toolbox is or why you'd want to Debloat something, well, as the name implies, Debloat means where you remove the excess fat or make something lean or basically just trim something down to make it as lean or as fast as possible. Now, as you guys know, with Amazon, they really do bundle these devices packed full of background processes, background tasks, things that are running on your device, whether you like it or not. Now, a great example of this is IMDB TV, which we know in a recent update was pushed onto all of our devices. Now, even if you like this application or not, the application is going to run on your device and consume valuable system resources. But now with the Debloat toolbox, I can just go through the list here. And these are all processes that I'm able to disable. And where possible, I've tried to add annotations telling you exactly what will stop working if you disable that particular process. Now, as you can imagine with you know, hundreds and thousands or millions of Fire Stick users, what may be suitable for somebody to block may be unsuitable for somebody else. So you really have to go through the list yourself, find out the stuff that you're not using. And if you're not using something, then it should be okay for you to block. Now, at the same time, if you block something and then find that certain applications or certain functions are not working, you can quickly go back into the list and once again, enable that service. Now, as I mentioned, IMDB as a, just an example, if I go through the list here and we can see we have the IMDB app stub. So if I now click on this, anything that you tick means it's now marked for disabling and for you to disable that service, you go to the top, you can press left and right on the remote to get to the top. You now click on the play sign. This will now run the background ADB command to disable that service. And here we have the other IMDB application, the other process. So let's click on that as well. Click on that. Now also Silk Browser. So if you don't use a Silk Browser, maybe use Downloader or maybe use Firefox. Again, by clicking on this, I can now disable those processes for that browser. So let's again go to the top, click on play. That's now all done. So we've disabled two processes for IMDB and we've also disabled the process for the Silk Browser. So if I now press the home button and if I now try to use a Silk Browser, if I click on open, it doesn't open. If I try that again, we can see one more time that doesn't open because we have now stopped those services for the Silk Browser, which means that can now no longer run on our system. And when it no longer runs in our system, we again reclaim those valuable system resources, which in turn means our device should perform much better or a lot snappier than before. Now, if I press the home key, let's go back to the Debloat toolbox. Let's say, for example, now I think, you know what, I need to use a Silk browser because maybe I want to use it or something else. I can quickly go back in here 
And again, anything that has a tick next to it, it means it's disabled like this one. But for example, I'll keep going down. So for me to now enable the Silk Browser, I just tick it here or untick it, which means it's unticked, which means it's not disabled anymore. I click on the play sign at the top right, click on that. And within a couple of seconds, that command is run in the background. I can now press the home key. I can now try and start Silk again. And this time when I click on open, we are straight into that browser. And that really is the beauty with the Diblo toolbox that you can disable things very quickly. Nothing is permanent. And if you find that something is not working properly anymore, you can quickly go back into the toolbox and enable that service once again. Let's go back to the toolbox. So from the top here, guys, we can see we have a couple of processes for Prime Video. So again, if you're not using Prime Video, you can tick these and turn that off. These are the three for Amazon updates. But as you guys know, unfortunately, if you already have the latest update, then these are not going to work anymore. But if your device hasn't received the latest update, you can tick these three, click on the play button, and we can see on my device, they quickly get unticked. So just confirming that these two can't be disabled anymore if your device already has the latest update. And if any of you guys are still here with me, then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment, hashtag debloat, then I know you made it this far in the video, which I always appreciate. I'll then heart your comment. Now, if you really wanna go crazy, which I don't personally recommend, but if I go to the top here, you can tick on this box here and this will basically click on everything or select everything. So, and this will go ahead and disable about 25 or different services on your Amazon device. But personally, I wouldn't recommend it in case you break too many things. But again, if you really don't care about your device, you can tick here, click on play, and that will go ahead and disable all of those processes. Now this button here, which has the I symbol, if you click on that, this actually shows you system apps. Now, again, this is more just for the advanced users, so you can see what's running in the background. But I personally, for most of you, wouldn't mess around with any of the processes in here. Let's leave that off. So hiding system apps. Okay, so that's all of that running on my Fire OS 7 device, the Amazon Fire TV Cube second generation. Let me now jump over to my 4K Fire Stick. Okay, so here we are on my Fire OS 6 device, which is my 4K Fire Stick. Let's open up the Unified Diplo Toolbox. Let's click on that. This should now do a scan of my device, tell me that it is a Fire OS 6 device, and then show me the process is relevant for my device. And we can see it's done exactly that. On the top left, we can see Fire OS 6 is identified that this is a 4K Fire Stick. And I can now see all of those processes which are relevant for Fire OS 6. And again, any of these processes I want to disable, like this one here, which is for the ring doorbell. So if I'm not using the ring doorbell, I can click on that, go to the top, click on play. And in a couple of seconds, that app is now fully disabled, which then frees up that memory. And again, the more free memory that you have on your device, typically you'll get better performance, less buffering, and just overall a better performing device. So that's the Unified Diblo Toolbox. Let me now show you how you can get this on all of your Amazon devices. Okay, so to get the latest toolbox on any of your Amazon devices, head over to your settings, go over to developer options, go to install unknown apps, click on that, and just make sure downloader is set to on. Once you've confirmed that, Let's now open up Downloader and we can now type in a special code which will always take you to the latest page regarding the Diblo Toolbox on my website. And that code is just 295427. And the reason why that's important is I'll be constantly with your feedback updating the list of processes on the website. So if you guys discover a certain process which is not annotated, you can tell me what was broken when you turn that off. I can then update the website. So here we are, so we can see this is the latest 2022 update. Let's scroll down. Here we have the step-by-step -step instructions. And underneath all of that, we now have the list of processes. If you, for example, find out what this orchestrator process does, or for example, this Gloria list, you can let me know and I'll then update the website. And underneath list of the processes, we should have a single link to the new unified Diplot toolbox. So let's click on that, scroll down, and we can now click on this green download button. We can click on install, we can press the home key, and here is the new Diplot toolbox all working fine. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. 
I know so many of you are waiting for an update to the original Diplo toolbox from last year and hopefully with this latest update where it's now combined into a single toolbox, the unified toolbox, I hope it was worth the wait. So really appreciate your support. Please do like and share this video. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.